I'm secretly drinking in the bathtub, reading my AA big book. <laughs> when my daughter Taylor calls after four years, that was the day I had my last drink. The next day at the beach, Taylor says, why didn't you come to my graduation? I wanted you there. Our constant goodbyes ripped my heart out, Taylor. I thought we were all better off. I was wrong. I was wrong, Taylor. That fall, work took me far away. 42, I'm 42 and alone. Why am I even here? I need a meeting and I need a friend. That first meeting, I met Eve, the spunky redhead. She handed me her number. The group leader asked, what role have you played in the dysfunction of your life? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Didn't say that. <sighs> the other women, the other women helped me see myself. We healed together. I realized my pain wasn't unique. When I moved my life cross country, my job tanks. What do I do now? I hit the ground running, rebooted my therapy practice. I am so out of shape. Massaging hours left me exhausted. But my kids kept me going. I drove 13 hours to see them. Recovery cost everything. And one day, I noticed I actually felt okay. Maybe there is hope for me. That Christmas, the radio kept me company. And I heard, you have not because you ask not. So I asked and bought myself an engagement ring. <laughs> okay, Jesus, I'm married to you until you send me a husband. I want the best man in the whole world. And it would be great if he had money. <laughs> My life is yours. January 31st was the day Jarrett arrived in his colorful sneakers. I nicknamed him Happy Camper, secretly. Five weeks later, we are on an amazing beach in Kauai. When he reached out, and held my hand, it felt like a miracle. He really saw me. And when I missed my kids, he held me. Back home, I drove two hours to visit Jarrett. And he introduced me to his intimidating house. <laughs> this is too much. 
I don't belong here. But my heart wanted to stay. Jarrett wanted to help me, love me. He said, Natalie, you are so much more valuable than money. I tried to make Jarrett reject me for three years. He wouldn't. He never did. He didn't. Thanksgiving long weekend, I'm driving home from the Okanagan. Thanksgiving long weekend. I'd never seen Mount Robson free from cloud. This is a great sign. When I got home, there was a note on the door. Wait in the foyer. Jarrett's smiling blue eyes met mine, and he gave me a beautiful bouquet of roses. Natalie, will you marry me? I said yes to Jarrett. And I said yes to me.